my papers start from tomorrow let's let's take this journey so this is exclusively the place i have been studying for since like the last week or so we all know every subject is different on its own and hence the pattern of studying for each one is different from the other some requires diagrams some requires theory some requires something else for microbiology which was my first paper when i sat down to read first of all i opened a document in my phone which contained all the important topics that were asked in the previous years so i first decided to go with them before going over any atypical topics which were not given in that in the said document there is a list of important topics which i looked over the names and then try to answer them in such a way that i'm going to write the exact same thing down tomorrow and whichever questions i got stuck on i referred the book repeated the same thing again and noted in a page a big lie each of us tell ourselves is i don't need to write it down i'll just remember it spoiler alert you will not so just take a little bit of effort and jot down anything that you're possibly going to forget and read it until it becomes a nice fixed memory i think each college has a different set of pdf which is inherited to the junior batch from the seniors this was night time so i decided to wrap it up quickly by listing out all the atypical and important topics which i have felt were missing and that i needed to do tomorrow yeah so i'm about to go to sleep now it's about 1 As you can see it's about 1 right now and I'm going to wake up a little bit early. I think 6 or 7 hours of sleep is enough. So I'm planning to wake up at like um 6:30 or 7 maybe and revise the entire thing once or twice before I go to the paper. And I've just written down the important things which I want to uh, you know revise and that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to go now. Okay. Have a good night. Um It's uh, 7:30 in the morning, and uh, I have to admit, falling asleep was pretty hard. <laughs> so I was waking up, but now I'm up, and let's do this. Sleep is a luxury in exam times. Remember, I told you I was going to sleep last night at one, but actually I ended up mentally revising a lot of things while in bed, which took about an hour. Hence the sleep deprived phase when I woke up. I had 5 effective hours before the examination began in which I had to look over the things which I did not look over yesterday and also the things which I wrote down on my book. Practice a bit of diagrams, do a little bit of auditory learning and more or less have a look at everything that is present in the syllabus. So it's been 2 hours I did my breakfast and I've read general microbiology completely, moving on to systemic and then to notes and diagrams. Also shout out to Aisha for sending me MCQs. Thank you for that. Okay, let's go. And then I went on to read about systemic bacteriology. But as it is well known fact that all the bacteria can get sometimes mixed up in your head, the best way I avoid all of this mess is by discussing it with a friend. This is what I'm doing right here. I'm discussing different bacteria of the syllabus with my friend. Hi guys. So I just finished uh, systemic bacteriology. It's about 1 uh, hour and 15 minutes to go for the paper and uh, I think I'm kind of good prepared and let's see what happens. Bye bye. I think we are ready to go and okay. Let's go. What do you feel about the exam? Exam hall has been seen nobody is everybody else bunking the exam. And no. starting to bunk. Okay, bye. Hi. Any thoughts? No. Micro hai, chuda hai, ya aur kuch hai. Nahi bana sakta. Sooner and sooner, the examination hall got filled up, and all the stressed-out faces gradually turned into smiling faces, because we all knew we were the part of the same boat.
So tomorrow I have pharmacology and I'll get studying for that just about now after having something to eat. Well, uh, what this paper taught me has uh, sometimes what happens under pressure and external stimulus, we tend to forget a lot of things. So that's what happened today. I forgot a little bit of things. But it did not affect my overall performance because uh, we have options and stuff like that. So yeah, moving on to pharmacology now. And I'm definitely not gonna look over the paper again. Maybe. <laughs> Hi there, we're back in the future now and a few days ago the department released the mark sheet and it turns out I scored pretty decently. So the thing here is always keep working hard, keep pushing your efforts in the right direction. Even if anything is stopping you, remove that barricade and keep mo pushing forward, keep moving forward. Stay healthy, stay happy and if you like this video, do it a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. See you soon.